Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff, and welcome to New Tool Day. Yay, New Tool Day! It's my favorite day, every time. <laughs> it's my New Tool Day is everybody who makes things favorite day. That day. <laughs> if you'll notice, this tool wall has something missing. There's a hint. That shelf right there was constructed and installed to house a Veritas number no. six hand plane uh, to go with my five and a half, my 62, my five, my four and a half, my four, and, and et cetera, et cetera. My idea was that that was going to be a Veritas number no. six. But then, upon thinking, upon reflection, I thought, how often are you really going to use a number six hand plane, Mr. Guy? <laughs> Why are you going to spend $350 on a hand plane that you're probably going to pull down twice a year? Uh, because it's ridiculously attractive and super well-functioning? Maybe. But then I was on the Can I Have It tool Facebook site. Uh, and where they do auctions every weekend where people put up hand, hand tools and antique, mainly hand tools, and they auction them off. And I was bidding on a number six hand plane, thinking if I can get one for 60 or 70 bucks instead of 350 or 370 bucks, let's do that, you know? Uh, and I didn't get the one that I was bidding on because I, it went above what I wanted to pay for a tool I'd never seen from a guy that I don't know. Uh, plus shipping, which was yet to be determined. But somebody watched me bidding on that and had one for sale. And that's my new friend, Josh Osborne, who is actually an administrator over at that page. And he said, I've got one of those. I can sell you it if you'd like. And I said, yes, please. And so we got it all figured out. And after we dealt with FedEx's garbage problems, because FedEx sucks. I got the box. <laughs> it took, took 20 or so days to get to me from Minnesota, but I got the box and we are gonna crack into it and have a look at what my new friend Josh Osborne has sent to me and put it up on that shelf. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Let's, let's have a look. I'm gonna change camera, put you over someplace else. Be right back. All right, so it looks like Mr. Josh, Mr. Josh has packaged this up pretty securely. He may or may not have stock in 3M because he used a lot of tape, it looks like. But that's a good thing. I am not gonna complain about that at all. So, I'm just starting to learn about the antique hand plane world, so to speak. Uh, but I know a little bit, and this is going to be a Type 6, number 6 Stanley hand plane. Which means, for those of you who may not know types and things, the Type 6. Stanley hand plane was made between 1888 and 1892. So the contents of this box, I'm not a math guy, but that's like 130 years old. So let's have a look at what we got. Well packaged, well packaged, Mr. Osborne. Lots of paper. And then individually bubble wrapped bits, let's take them all out, on a padding of more bubble wrap. Well packaged, Mr. Osborne. Oh, yes, it's like Christmas plus bubble wrap. And this, I mean, I should say that this is the kind of thing that I get to do 
because of people like you who watch this show. Because I make a little bit of money when you guys watch this show. I mean, YouTube has to give me like a couple of pennies or something every time you guys watch this. And so the more you do and the more you hit the likes and subscribes and stuff buttons and comment in things below, the more it shows it to other people and then the more pennies I make and then the more hand planes I can buy. <laughs> Here we go. We've got tote and knob and bolt. Really good condition for a hundred and thirty year old wooden things. <laughs> Come on. The problem about with people who pack things really well. It takes you longer than you want <laughs> to get them open. I'd rather that than the alternative. Here's the frog and iron and lever cap. Oh man. This is in really good shape. There's like no rust. He said he did a little bit of work on it. Uh, I think you may have underestimated the amount of work you did on it, Mr. Osborne. Uh, but it's in good shape. There's some more attachment screws. Frog is in really good condition. Wow. Wow. Good purchase. And then, of course, he needs a body. Because otherwise, it's it's not a plane at all. <laughs> Come on, one more flip. Yeah, yes. There is some missing Japaning, and but. I would say less than normal wear and tear for a 130 year old hand plane. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, we get something flat. That. That is really, really flat. Oh, fantastic. All right, let's put it together. You guys don't need to watch me put it together. Back in a minute. Well, and then we'll give it a test. Give us a quick hone. We'll give it a test.
Okay, so I think I've got it close. It's, I do not have enough patience to get this particular iron where I'm gonna want it to be. So I've gotten it close enough to get set up and make some shavings with it. And then I'm gonna go place an iron for a new, uh, an order for a new Hawk or PMV 11 or something iron that fits this plane. Cause I just, I don't have, I don't know. I, no, I'm not gonna put that much into an iron for this plane when I can spend 40 or 50 bucks and get one that's gonna last the rest of my life. But let's get it put together, see if we can't make a couple of shavings with it, get it up on the wall where it belongs, and move on with life. I also need a proper plain screwdriver dealy, but that's for another time. There you go. Got ourselves a plane that should cut. Let's chuck a piece of wood up in the uh, leg vise and we'll see if it does. All right. All right, so here we've got a rough sawn piece of sapiti. Uh, clearly, as it's got the like lumberyard spray paint stuff on it still. Uh, we're just going to chuck it up in the light vise and we're going to see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to get the edge of this board flat in no time. That's what I think. Beauty! <laughs> Beauty! That's fantastic. That is fantastic. And that's not even sharp. <laughs> well, it's sharpish. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. I have another functioning plane. Get out of there. Put that mouth closed a little bit. A little bit too much for that heavy a shaving, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Let's get it up on the shelf. Well, there we go. We've got a number six Stanley hand plane, type six, 1888 to 1892. And 2020, it's going to get some work in my shop. That is fantastic. These are tools that have history. They have, there's something about a really old tool that was made to do real work. And hopefully that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to just give it a quick wax because I should have done that before I was doing that. So it's ready for use next time and it's going in its spot. And it's going to look fantastic. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's full. It's full. <laughs> oh, welcome to the family. All right. Thanks, Josh Osborne, for selling me the number six. Thanks, all you folks, for watching. And uh, 
Remember, I do have a Patreon page if you want to support me over at patreon.com slash wooden things and stuff. I also have an Etsy store where you can buy things that I make here in the shop. I'll leave links to those down below. And until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye for now. It looks really good up there. <laughs> it looks really good up there. All right. Ha, 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 ha.